Hi, this is Barry from GuitarPCB.com and I'm going to try to give you a quick tutorial uh, on soldering the new fabricated boards. Uh, as usual, first start off with a uh, fine conical tip as you see here. Uh, you'll notice that the tip is clean. Um, it's tinned. Uh, the way to do that, I clean my tip by using a scouring pad. I do that between uh, every solder joint. I use a scouring pad as opposed to you know, a wet sponge or whatever because of the simple fact that uh, that reduces heat. Uh, the scouring pad doesn't. All right, to be able to tin your tip, you can just take your solder. Um, I use .031 diameter solder, which I find to be easiest. And as you see the smoke, that's the flux burning off. I roll that around. I go ahead and clean that with my scouring pad and it reveals a nice shiny tip. By the way, I've been using this same tip now for probably a year and a half and uh, as you can imagine I've used it on quite a few projects. Um, so that comes from not setting the temperature too high. Now when I clean the tip and you see the uh, flux burning off, also keep in mind that flux is what uh, makes the solder stick and gives you a good solid joint as opposed to a cold joint. So the idea when you solder your joints is to make sure uh, that you're touching both the lead and the uh, joint uh, with your solder tip and then touch the solder uh, to the joint and the lead not your just your solder tip itself uh, because what you end up doing is burning off the flux which is what uh, makes it stick to the joint. Let me give you an example um, the next component I have to stall in this uh, would be C5 and I'm using a 22N, just give me a second here, C5, I'm going to go ahead and put my 220N in, flip it over. Now, here's the best tip of all, what you want to do is bend your leads and then you want to cut them short. This way, you're not trying to heat the entire lead. Now, you take your tip and you put it between the lead and the solder pad, and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch it, and voila, perfect solder joint. Do it again, put it between the lead and the solder pad and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Apply just to the pad only. And you have your solder joint. Then what little lead you have left, go ahead and clip off. Sorry you're not seeing that. Okay. And you end up with something like that. hope you find that helpful. Like I said, the main things are is to keep a clean and tin tip. I clean between usually every solder joint. I retin the solder tip after maybe four or five joints. When you go ahead and solder, you place your tip on the pad also touching the lead at the same time. You wait and you heat the pad and the lead at the same time for maybe to a count of eight or ten. Then apply your solder to the pad and the lead, not the solder tip because you don't want to burn the flux away. Those are the most important things uh, to get you started in the right direction. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice uh, sometimes, uh, but once you do it a few times, it's not so bad. Uh, just follow the uh, examples I gave you, and you should be uh, moving along with no problem, and uh, build yourself some great guitar pedals. Thanks a lot.